lay down in God's love, let it free you from the fear of the ego chase. I'm going to talk about relationships. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, well, family, ju just family relationships. But, but what I want, really want to talk about is my granddaughter. Okay, she's uh, almost four years old. The light of my life. I just love her totally, with this very special love. Okay, and it's. I think it's unconditional, but it's. I know it's a special love. Now I think about you know lesson one twenty eight, one twenty nine. The world I see holds nothing that I want. I remember when I first read that, I said. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> but then, and then 129, of course, says, well, there, beyond this world, there is another world. Okay. So, um, in particular, what, what do you say to me about how I should think of my granddaughter or how I, what kind of relationship, how should I change my relationship with her? Or, well, we've heard the idea that love is inclusive instead of exclusive. Mm -hmm. And that inclusive love would be holy love or agape, you know, it's, it's unconditional, like you were saying. Yeah. And the exclusive is there's an attempt to exclude or make special, but let's just look at the exclude part. Mm -hmm. uh, when we have a configuration, we'll call family, you know, your wife, your sons, your granddaughter, and there's a configuration there, well, that's part of the self-concept, yeah. as well as the whole environment that surrounds, you know, the planet, the sun, the moon, the stars, right. everything. And that we're being told that that self-concept is, is tiny and small, and that love itself is vast. And so, it's the tininess, if the, if the tininess has an exclusiveness in, like, these are the people that I cherish, they're in my daily life, they're the ones I, I get to hug and kiss and interact with and talk on the phone with. Mm -hmm. And then there's this other group of the seven billion that I, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent actually about. You know, I'm not, you know, I watch them on the news occasionally mm -hmm. and maybe some movie stars I like and, you know, and I like that movie he's in and I like what she's doing in that book that they just wrote. But, but there's these bands, like there's most of the seven billion, there's like an indifference with. Mm -hmm. Then there's a heightened sense of, of caring with a small, tiny group. And then there's some others, you know, maybe it's Denzel or, you know, somebody else that you really like. And, you know, they're kind of out there. They're not quite in the, the small group, you know. You'd like to rub elbows occasionally, if possible. But, you know, they're there. And so there's these categories and degrees. And what I would say is, when you open up to the Holy Spirit's purpose, it's more about including in all the rest. Mm -hmm. And and that's why, in one sense, we have to loosen our mind from the form. Mm -hmm. Like, I was a loner. And then I had a few friends, I probably could count them on one hand, uh, and you could say that was probably my special configuration, you know, and, and then I kind of went through this thing where, how do I change this, the same thing you're asking, and it was like giving the deck of cards of all the relationships over to the Holy Spirit and saying, you deal. And wow, that dealing has brought us yeah. together because I was so open to go wherever the dealing led me to Northern California. Mm -hmm. And we've had some times there and times here. And it's grown and grown and grown because I have really was just open to the including in the rest of the seven billion, mm -hmm. and it's taking me to China. And not that everybody needs to travel, but but it's it's <coughs> in the purpose of, of opening to be used with someone that's walking by you on the street. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no casual encounters, there's no chance meetings, there's no accidents, and to start to really feel your heart expand with this really huge love, mm -hmm. so that you can safely let it okay. flow through you and include the rest in. So to me, the thing to do with your granddaughter is you're not you don't want to take anything away. That's there's a, a heart opening, there's a burst, like you say, like the love of my life, mm -hmm. the light of my life. You want to include the rest in with that, yeah. and and as you're willing to just say to Holy Spirit, use me, 
and open up my mind and expand my perception, then that's how the circle seems to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's really all just the state of mind. It's not really about the form of it all. That's just kind of a metaphor I'm using, but, but it's really about how you feel. That ex huge, expansive okay. mind. That makes sense? Yes, it does. <laughs> Thank you, David. Talk about mirroring. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Thank you. <laughs> the Society of Davids has just had their last holy encounter here, and we're always happy for the next one. Lay down.